Okay, here we are at one of our favorite places to fish, and uh, we have a crazy calabatus co hatch coming off. If you can see up in the clouds, there's a lot of uh, cloud cover right now, and there are lots of fish rising. Uh, we caught a few on dries here and there, but the best way to, to capitalize on this is I've got a midge tip line on. This is made by Rio, and uh, with this line, it has a really long belly and uh, kind of like a 10 foot intermediate tip. But the most important thing is that it's completely stretch free. So we've just been casting out kind of where the fish have been rising and then just kind of let it sink. I'm actually fishing one weighted fly and one non-weighted fly, letting it sink for a little bit and real slow pulls like this so the, the cool thing about this line is the fish will eat it and they don't have to really slam it for you to feel them eat it's just kind of uh, you, you feel the line get tight you lift the rod tip you got a fish on so we're gonna get a little bit closer to this rock here and hopefully we can put a fish in the net for you okay we've turned around and paddled in We've got a bunch of active fish out there. So we'll drop it in and see what happens. There we go. Oh, missed him. Let's see if he's, he's still there. And as you can see, I was just letting it sit when that fish ate. So a few real slow pulls. We've got these crazy moths and calabatus going off right now. Oh, I felt that one. As you can see, this line really casts well, makes you look like an all-star. So we, I had an issue with my hook point. That's like the second cast with a new fly. We got either a splake or a brookie. Nice one. Okay, so there you have it. Sometimes when all the fish are rising, it's not always the most effective way to catch fish. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Check out our, all of our other tying videos at flyfishfood.com.